What is a sales funnel? A sales funnel is essentially a filtration system. There are many different types of eyeballs your link or content will attract on the internet. Most of these are not interested in buying, at least not right now. Your sales funnel helps you process all these people to maximize the amount of dollars you can get out of them. Most sales filters are not set up the right way. A lot of marketers fail because they think they have a sales funnel. What they have is a leaky bucket. Know the difference. A sales funnel does the following. Sales funnels must demonstrate the value of a particular solution. Sales funnels must speak to the needs of people looking for a solution. Sales funnels must build trust in a particular category of solution. Sales funnels must direct potential buyers to a specific category of solutions leading to a specific type of product. Sales funnels must build trust in a specific product offering to the exclusion of competing offers. If your sales funnel doesn't do all the above, you have a leaky bucket. At best, you are settling for cents on the dollar. At worst, you are losing money and are left confused as to why. How do you know your sales funnel is working? This is actually very easy. Either you're making the most amount of dollars from your online activities or you're not. That's the bottom line. It's very easy to figure out. Don't obsess about traffic. Don't get all excited about click-through rates. Don't put too much faith on how many people engage with your content on social media. All those are important, but the most important metric is profit. To generate profit, your funnel must convert. Focus on conversion at the end of the funnel first. Then work back up the funnel to maximize the effectiveness of each step prior to conversion. Sales funnels have different components. This is where people screw up. They think that a sales funnel is just all about converting traffic into cash. They don't realize that you need to give people information so they would trust you enough to buy whatever it is you were pushing. Accordingly, a sales funnel is made up of two parts, the content funnel and a conversion funnel. Don't confuse the two. They are not one and the same. They overlap each other, but they are not one and the same. A conversion funnel takes traffic and turns it into cash by getting the prospect to go through a series of pages or blocks of text within one page. As the person progresses through each section, that person develops the following. First, they get the impression that you know what you're talking about. They start to believe that you are knowledgeable enough about whatever it is you're talking about for them to continue to read your stuff. This can be in one page, this can be in a couple of pages, or this can take place in a series of pages or it can take the form of a series of emails. Regardless, it's all about building credibility. An effective conversion funnel sets things up in such a way that the more your prospect reads your stuff, the more they believe you. This ultimately creates enough trust for your prospect to do what you want them to do. This can take different forms. You can ask them to fill out a form, and when they fill out the form, you get paid by a sponsor. You can ask them to click on a sales link that says, Order Now. When they buy something, you get a commission. You can ask them to enter their email address and join your mailing list. Regardless of the form it takes, the goal of a conversion funnel is the same. It's all about getting traffic from the internet, filtering it down to a core group of people who believe you and trust your authority enough to do what you want them to do. What is a content funnel? A content funnel is a series of blog posts, articles, and pages both on your site and on third-party websites that step visitors through different stages of trust. At first, you get them to understand and believe that you are credible when it comes to a specific body of knowledge. For example, if people are looking for tips on how to deworm their dogs, your content funnel would start with material that answers basic questions regarding the deworming process. When people read these, they get the information that they're looking for, but they're probably looking for other information. Now that they know how to deworm a dog, is there a best way to do it? Is there a product that makes it as quick, painless, and convenient as possible? Your content funnel takes care of all these questions, but it all does it in the context of building greater and greater trust in your authority. It starts with establishing in the minds of the reader that you are knowledgeable and credible enough about the basic questions that they're asking. If they like what they read and they still have other questions regarding which solution is the best, they can click the link and then you would lead them through your comparison of the different types of solutions out there. Again, these are not necessarily individual products. These can be just different ways to purge your dog. You can compare the different ways of purging your dog. 
There's a 100% organic way, and then there are the traditional chemical ways, so on and so forth. You compare these then to highlight to the reader that you can be trusted because you know enough to be able to compare, and then you suggest a specific solution, and then when they click through to that, they end up in a trust page. This is where basically you earn their trust by spelling out, usually in the form of an in-depth report or a review of the pros and cons of a specific product or solution. From here, you can then convert them. You can link them to a conversion funnel, or you can get them to sign up to a mailing list.